I don't think there's ever been a time that I've manifested that I haven't walked away with some sort of enrichment, whether by the work we've done or a conversation I've had or someone I've seen or met. They either want to tell you, you know, they've got a new boyfriend or girlfriend or they've lost a boyfriend or girlfriend or they came out to their parents and that goes either way. I tell them, you know what? For all the people who tell you that you're broken, you're evil, you're going to their version of hell, or that there's just something you know, wrong with you, that there's an even greater community of people out there who love you for exactly who you are and not for that little box that they think you should fit into. These, these four men started the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. It's a 21st century order of queer nuns. Uh, we're made up of men, women, uh, lesbian, straight, bisexual, transgendered. We literally run the spectrum. People that have a progressive mindset, uh, who want to help their communities, who want to take care of other people, uh, in the way that nuns have done throughout history. In the dogma of the church, there's nothing wrong with what we're wearing because everybody wore something different. Catholicism is built on faith, a community of apostles in one faith. And I believe what we do is right. And the people around me believe that what we do is right. And so that is all the faith they need in the world, I believe. Can you unhook me from the doorknob now? I like being the blue nun. It's like being a cheap bottle of wine. It's etched in stone when the eyelashes come on. The very first time I painted was in the mirror exactly like this. All you see is just that around you. And seeing myself in the mirror in the bathroom was like, Oh no, I brought it. There you are. And it was like meeting that part of yourself that had been missing for so many years. When? Who? What? Who? Who is me? Who's really anybody? I have several personalities, um, but of those personalities, whatever the personality, whatever I'm wearing becomes who I am. That's yeah. as good as it's going to get, girls. Hmm. No guilt, no shame! No guilt, no shame! We are not anti-Catholic, we are not anti-religion. Our community need, needed nuns to, to love our community, so we take up that vow. What started off as a protest street theater emerged into a charity organization that has raised millions and millions of dollars. Uh, over the last 35 years. So we serve our community wherever our community's needs are, that's where we're going to be. Some of our biggest charities have been uh, Being Alive, the San Diego County Office of AIDS that we've donated to the center. I do go red every February. Um, we've also done for the Humane Society, we raised money for, the wild, for wildfire victims and for recovery in, in disasters in San Diego County. Um, we even raised money for Hurricane Katrina when we first started. It's, it's whatever reflects the human spirit. You sometimes meet the more traditional nuns that, that, that wear the full-on habits and everything, and some of the more uh, modern-day nuns that, that still wear regular uh, street clothes and everything. They often love us. Uh, they're always talking to us, want to smile at us, want to meet us. Some of them know who we are, some of them don't. See, I, I had one, she's like, that, that, they, they thought that we like actually live in a convent. Like we have like our own house, that we all live in like the same convent. And I kind of had to explain it to her. The, the whole imagery that being a sister brings has this, this huge power. And I felt there was this really positive energy that could be utilized to do something really good. Promulgating universal joy and expiating stigmatic guilt. I know that's a tongue full, but just in the simplified version, be happy, be comfortable in who you are. That's all. Devil Wears Prada. That's all. <laughs>